Well, myself Partha Ghosh, I am going to launch a lecture series on financial management for beginners. In this lecture series, I am going to discuss the different pros and cons in the subject of financial management. The basic part of financial management, I will try to discuss with you people by the students in their graduation level. Now, what is financial management? Before considering that financial management, I must say that first we have to consider the management itself. Well, portrait is classical approach of management, industrial activities in six divisions. He classified the industrial activities in six divisions. Such activities are technical activities, commercial activities, financial activities, securities is there, accounting activities and managerial activities. From there, I had an approach of financial management added with the concept of management. Now financial management. What is financial management? Since finance is there, we can clearly say that it is basically none other than that you have to deal with funds with few basic activities. What such activities are? First activity is anticipation, anticipation, acquiring. Third one is allocation. Number four, administration. Number five, analysis. In the subject of financial management, we deal with funds and that can be categorized that our deal must be limited to such six activities, mostly such six activities. That means basically the subject deals with, we can say, six A's. Then financial management is dealt with six A's and such A's are as follows, anticipation, acquiring, allocation, administration, analysis and accounting of funds. In old approach, it is also considered that goal of financial management was only profit maximization. The basic goal of the financial management was profit maximization. But in modern approach, it right now the financial manager tries to maximize the value of the farm and which is known as wealth maximization. Wealth maximization tends to what? Wealth maximization tends to, to increase the earning of the company or rather to say to increase the earnings per share. There are two parts of financial management. It is also again the logic of funds. One is procurement of funds. Procurement of funds, of course. Another one is effective utilization of funds. Then, all such six objectives can be pinpointed in two parts. One is procurement of funds and the one is effective utilization of funds. Procurements of funds means to organize in that business whatever funds require from where we can procure the funds and in case of effective utilization how we put to use that funds to manage our business. Procurements of funds the most notable part I must mention over here the first one is cost of capital. Option 2 is leverage. Option 3 of course dividend policy. Dividend policy. Similarly, in case of effective utilization of funds also, I must mention two particular part. One is Working capital management 
another one is capital budget mostly in case of effective utilization of funds we should emphasize on these two topic working capital and capital budgeting next working capital and capital budgeting again we can reclassify if our perspective is longer if we are going to invest for a long term plan then we must follow the techniques of capital budgeting if it is a short term plan or rather if it is if it is related to day to day activities of the business or regular activities of the business in that case we can consider in that case we can consider it as a part of working capital mostly in my lecture series of financial management for beginners i am going to discuss this particular topics one after one this the lecture will come one after one and let me categorize that we should start with the first topic of working capital and second topic of capital budgeting followed by cost of capital leverage and finally dividend policy in each and every course curriculum this financial management I share all my lecture series with you people in the way of my lecture series on financial management for beginners